trying to get out of the okay. uh, range right there. I'm trying to get some breathing room going. <laughs> and Ovaltine is focusing a lot on Dr. X, pressing that advantage Shamarf has over Spacey. He's fortunately Village Mascot intercepts him beforehand, so possibly saving Dr. X from a stock. I think Red Team's had a two, two stock advantage already early. Like I'm saying, like... Oh, Dr. X is in trouble already. Dr. X, oh, that was a good save by Village Mascot. Yeah, he he, the great, aware, great awareness to even... Great awareness. Yeah. I like how there's, they're trying to split them up and get one, get one switch, uh, situations. Yeah. It's really good that they're trying to switch that up too. Like, yeah, they're trying to like get both of them like on, on like unexpectedly. Because honestly, like I can already tell you that having Ovaltine against Doctor X was not working out at all. Yeah. It seems like that was their game plan from the beginning. Ooh. Oh, Ovaltine, why? <laughs> that was not. That could actually cost you the game. That that type of unawareness cost you the game. Oh yeah. And it also demonstrates why Marf is such a risk in these things. True, he has this hoax. True, he has the kill power in doubles. True, he can combo off things in doubles. But the thing is, is with friendly fire on, it's a double-edged sword. He can actually kill you. Yeah, he's very easy, especially like. Indeed. Just put yourself in a 1v2 situation against your opponents. Exactly. You don't want to risk that type of stuff if at all. Uh, and the SD from Ovaltine as well. Ovaltine is honestly possibly hurting his team with this performance. Yeah, he is. Like, I would be very. I'm hoping that the red team can regroup and actually get to their act together later because and this, blue team? the blue team is actually doing very well actually they're at the last stock but what's the difference is that they're being patient with each other they aren't making as many mistakes that said you're right I think it mostly is coming down to the simple fact that Game they were not taking that seriously at the end of the hunt. So anyways, I you gotta think, maybe they'll actually consider switching to a different character after this. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if it's working for them, I think they're gonna stick with it for the time being. I'm talking about the blue team. Oh, you're talking about Dr. X and Village Mascot? Yeah. They might actually consider switching off Marv for a second. Oh, maybe, yeah, definitely. But, um, who is that? Village Mascot, right? Yeah, so. Village Mascot has a box I'd advise using it. And, okay, we're going to Final Destination. No, it's not. No, Giano and Dreffin are probably going to be in Grand oh, by that time. Yeah, I forgot about that. Alright, so this is just regular brackets. Alright, FD. I can see Ovaltine just got a decent combo on Dr. X. He get the. Oh! That is excellent teamwork alert right yeah, there. He saw good. that he had set up the kill for him. He took it. Yeah, exactly. The, this game is just showing that those few missteps in the beginning of the game set were just missteps. That's it. They needed a second to get warmed up, and now look at them. They have this entire. Now that they have the space of FD, like they're they are free to do whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, this comes down to the fact that it's two really good players against two decent players. It's like having two bullies in a schoolyard, and yet there's like this slightly smaller bully who can't do anything else. <laughs> oh, uh, this is the wall of pairs going on. That was really nice. Oh, uh, Tipper. Yeah. Uh, you gotta feel bad for Dr. X right now. Yeah. If this is losers like I'm thinking it is, it's bad. Yeah. So these guys are playing for their friend and not for you. Is that and it's not fair and well for them. They gotta uh, step up their game. In fact, okay, they gotta one two v one situation, they gotta capitalize on that. Like they didn't get any, any like major damage or anything. And what's better, yeah, is if you haven't noticed, Ovaltine's actually doing a very decent job at stock tanking right now. I don't wanna curse anything, but right now I can really applaud that. 
And just like that, this tank is gone. It's at every stock matters point. Uh, and that was a good edge guard. That was a decent edge guard by him, the back error. Good awareness in such a hectic environment. Oh, and I actually that was very smart of him to end the chain grab very early. Yeah, with how Marf is, like you usually want the full chain grab, but thing is, Doctor X could have just swooped in and gotten the kill off that. Right. So that was good. Like, just get the guaranteed damage. Like, that's what you want. Exactly. Yeah. Like in Marf Dittos, you want to get as close to killing as possible, but you didn't, teams in the mix, you don't even want to risk things yeah. like this. Yeah, I think one of the biggest stories is that, like, when the blue team does get an advantage, they don't really show it. Oh, and the ch I, Like I said before, he made the mistake I was talking about. He for too long. Exactly. If he had just stayed in calm or just up tilted, he could have gotten more damage, but still. Oh, oh, and. Alright, let's see if they can make some damage. Has the blue team actually got to come back from this? After all that team, see what the synergy's like right here. Oh! Uh oh, all right. Watch this not good. Or, oh, uh, oh! This doesn't look good. Team Doctor Harris clutching out for his team. Ovaltine. He's super safe right now. Oh! Oh! Ovaltine. Clutching it out for the red team.